What's up, Skate Athletics fam? Welcome back to another video. As you can see, it's cold as over here, so I thought it'd be a good time to readdress how we should be warming up for our skate sessions. I'm sure by now you've heard you need to warm up before you go skating and I think that's pretty obvious but what's the best way a couple stretches a couple warm-up tricks then you're good to go well not quite that's actually gonna decrease your strength and power output which is definitely gonna negatively affect your performance on the board your warm-up is here to serve four primary purposes a good warm-up is gonna increase mental and physical readiness it can help prevent injuries and it'll enhance your performance yeah a quality warm-up is going to enhance athletic performance by allowing faster agonist muscle contractions. It can improve overall rate of force production. It increases reaction time, muscular strength, and power. Trust me, your warm-up is not just here to get you feeling good before your session. It's actually going to enhance your overall skating. Even if you're just going to the skate park to have some fun, take your warm-up seriously so you'll have more fun and decrease the risk of sustaining a stupid injury. And if you're trying to get a clip at a street spot, just remember, a good warm-up will enhance athletic performance, which should allow you to land that trick quicker. The faster you land that trick means the less slams you're going to take, means the less wear and tear on your body, which is going to allow you to stack more clips and improve your video part. So there you go. Do yourself a favor and warm up correctly. Use the RAMP protocol. This is a very easy acronym that allows you to structure your warm-ups. I love using the RAMP protocol because it allows for tons of exercise variety, all you gotta do is select the right exercise, fit it in the correct category, and you're good to go. So the R stands for raise. Any exercise that's gonna raise your heart rate, core temperature, muscle temperature, etc., is gonna do the job. For example, you can use what I did in the video, which was 30 squats followed by 100 jumping jacks, or just pick anything that fits. I mean, you could seriously jog around the park, do some walking lunges, bring a jump rope, or just simply push around the park. A stands for activate your muscles. In this video, I chose reverse lunges but anything along those lines, such as squats, single leg squats, single leg RDLs, hip airplanes, anything will suffice. Next, the M stands for mobilize. You're gonna mobilize the joints that you're gonna use primarily during your session. So before skating, I always make sure to mobilize my ankles, my knees, my hips, my thoracic spine, and my shoulders. So basically everything. In this video, I chose to use the ankle rocker, the deep squat to stand, and standing leg swings. Admittedly, I should have done something for my thoracic spine or my shoulders. The whole purpose of the potentiate section is to get your body ready for similar forces you're going to experience when you skate, aka jumping and landing. So I'd recommend choosing anything that involves a jump. Just make sure you're performing this exercise at 100% effort so we can actually mimic some of those jumping and landing forces. In this video, I chose one of my favorites, the split squat jump but other exercises such as squat jump, tuck jumps, bra jumps, ice skaters, anything like that will fit. Keep the reps during your potentiate section very low. 
The whole point of this section, once again, is to prime your body, not to exhaust it. One of my favorite things about the RAM protocol is that you should never be bored with your warm up routine. Actually, it shouldn't even be a routine because you're just gonna be changing up those exercises all the time. If you keep doing the same thing over and over, your body's gonna adapt to those demands and then your warm ups are just gonna plateau. So use the RAMP protocol and progressively increase the difficulty of those exercises just to make sure we're always improving. You know your body much better than I do. So at first, if it seems a little bit light, it takes you about five minutes, just add a couple exercises in there and just make sure you're feeling good. Just remember the whole point of this, by the time you're done with your warm up, you should be feeling great. So if you need five or 20 exercises to get you there, it doesn't matter as long as you get there. All right, I think I've covered most of the goods. If you have any questions, feel free to either comment below or shoot me a DM on my Instagram, Skate Athletics. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please do me a favor and hit that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you guys later on Skate Athletics.